Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Today we are going to see how to convert string to date and integer to string in ClickSense. So first of all we will go to our data and we will see our data. Uh, for the preview of the data we will go in data model viewer and here we will see how is our data so here you can see that call one is the date okay uh, this we will going to convert into the date format whatever we required and this call two is an in, uh, integer type that uh, num type so uh, call two we are going to convert into string so for that we are going to our analysis and we will take filter paint chart and first we will take here call one so to convert into a, into a date format we will take it as date brackets date is a function and take our field name so in my case I have call one field comma commas and here we will assign it a format like uh, we want to see in the format of day month and year okay so here date is a function and column name and this is a date format okay apply and here you can see that you have get, uh, you are getting your required format same as if you want to convert it as like by using slash and slash so you are getting like this month date and year if you want to change your format like you want to uh, you want to place date with the month you can also do that date so here you can see your data have been converted into into the this format so this is how we convert string to date uh, so our second exam uh, we want to show integer to date first we will take our filter paint chart we will take add dimension as call to as it is int so you can see that this is a integer so it is showing on the right side now we are going to convert it to it into a string so for that we are going to use a function which is called text text function start bracket close bracket and so now it is converted it has been converted into a string type so this is how we can use uh, we can convert string to date using date function and format as I have shown you and integer to string by using the text function